The Ensemble podcast is intended for professional financial advisors. This content is created in partnership with our sponsor, Net Wealth Investments Limited, ABN 85090 569 109, AFSL 230 975, and is limited to publicly available information. Before acting on any general advice, you should consider whether appropriate and obtain financial advice from a qualified financial advisor. Ensemble does not hold an AFS license and does not provide any financial advice or services or endorse any general advice. If a PDS or IM exists, you should obtain a copy and review it thoroughly before making a decision. I'm Patrick, Head of Technology at professional services firm Collins SBA. I'm a former financial advisor who just loves solving business problems and creating better client experiences using technology. Join me each week as we unpack the tech on offer to advise professionals, stay on top of tech trends and help you break free from the analysis paralysis experience when building and maintaining a great tech stack. Wealth is about more than just money. It's about opportunity and progress. NetWealth is supporting financial literacy and education in primary schools through Banker, a fun, interactive platform for children to learn about money. So far, we have sponsored and given over 100,000 children in Australia free access and want to reach even more. Discover a world of community at netwealth.com.au forward slash woo. To give listeners of the Advice Tech Podcast another avenue to solve technology problems that matter most and efficiently evaluate the landscape of advice tech providers, Ensemble has launched an advice tech space on its platform. If you want to know how your advice peers are solving their tech challenges, big and small, it's the place to go. Head to the Ensemble platform or use the link in the show notes to join today. Today we've got an update episode with Hans Egger, co-founder of Astute Wheel. If you're unfamiliar, Astute Wheel provides comprehensive tools for advice practices to improve client engagement and streamline their processes, and it's designed to be shared on a screen or in a meeting room. It's got tools for all stages of the advice process, from the financial health check to interactive modelling to insurance needs analysis, and it's especially powerful for review or progress meetings as clients can use the client portal to update the situation prior and enable an advice practice to become proactive rather than reactive during these meetings or interactions. I started by asking Hans what the oldest piece of tech he still owns is and whether he still uses it. So my wife was recently cleaning out a, uh, a few boxes out of our garage and came across two old iPods uh, that used to belong to our children uh, when they were young, so around 20 years ago. And my daughter got quite excited as she'd read somewhere that a game called Flappy Birds had been discontinued and was now worth quite a lot of money. Uh, so we charged them up, but uh, unfortunately uh, there were no Flappy Bird games there, so we missed out. But we had a, a good laugh about the music the kids were listening to back then. Um, and uh, no, we don't use iPods anymore. No, that's that's awesome. Um, sort of trip down memory lane. I remember, yeah, that app... It became so addictive and then, yeah, the actual devices themselves with that app installed were selling, which is just crazy. So, yeah, that's fantastic. And maybe sort of moving into the the current decade, is there maybe one or two ways, Hans, that you're using AI either personally or in your business life? Yeah, I had a bit of a muck around with it uh, uh, a while ago and I got it to produce a PowerPoint display from the Astute Wheel website uh, to, you know, just see what it came up with and it was actually quite good. Uh, but apart from that, I'm currently grinding my way through a doctorate of professional studies. And so I'm using AI to assist in some of the research there. Yeah, perfect. No, that um, it sort of skimmed over that website example. That's really cool. So you just put in your URL and it just created some slides from it or how did that sort of look? Yeah, so it, it did a pretty good job actually, <laughs> just as a sort of a rough guide, but it just uh, – it, it – uh, it looked through all the information on the website and said, okay, well, here's a uh, PowerPoint on what Astute Wheel's about. Very cool. That is very, very cool. Uh, speaking of very cool, Hans, Astute Wheel, I know it's an update episode, but for those unfamiliar, can you tell us a little bit about the business and your journey? Yeah, we originally launched Astute Wheel software in 2012 to improve the way advisors engage with their clients before and during their meetings. The software focuses on three main areas designed to help advisors show the value they bring to a client's financial welfare. First, we developed online questionnaires for prospects to complete prior to their first meetings. 
And these questionnaires are designed to be intuitive and easy to complete. So the mini fact find takes about 10 minutes and provides enough information for the advisor to understand the client's financial position without being too onerous for the client to complete. The financial health check educates the client regarding how a financial planner can help them and also asks the client to self-determine where they may need help across the six areas of advice. The goals questionnaire guides the client through a process to identify any financial and non-financial goals they may have. And importantly, this is done prior to the meeting where the client and the partner can discuss and agree to their goals and present them in their client voice, which is so important for compliance. Then the reverse fact find process provides a really simple way for existing clients to provide their updated information prior to a review meeting. Second, we created visual and interactive tools to make client meetings more interesting and engaging for the advisor to deliver and the client to experience. Our wheel visual breaks down financial planning into six areas of advice making it easy for a client to understand what a financial planning uh, process involves. And our goals tool takes those goals from the pre-completed questionnaire and guides the advisor and the client through a discussion to restate those goals as perhaps a SMART goal, determine how important it is for the client, how realistic and achievable it is, and we can put a dollar value and a timeline around it, and then we can track those goals to completion. We also have a scoping tool that helps advisors to explain the depth and breadth of their advice and can form part of the letter of engagement as well as being a great compliance document. And thirdly, we created 20 strategy modelling calculators that are really easy to use in front of a client to explain the impact of various concepts or strategies on the client's circumstances and also the effect of bringing numerous strategies together in the one lifetime cash flow model. We've always taken the view that if an advisor can provide their clients with a fantastic experience in their meeting, those clients will be far more engaged and loyal to the advisor, and the way to do this is by using the right tools. Amazing. No, thank you for that very comprehensive um, overview. I love the focus on client experience there, Hans. Like just a couple of examples being that mini fact find. So making sure it's not too onerous on the client, as you said, and yeah, not sending out a massive uh, PDF or God forbid a, a Word document um, to get that information. The financial health checks are being able to actually have clients self-determine their pain points is really powerful too. And I guess, you know, as you mentioned, been around since 2012. So, 12 years old and technology has changed substantially during that time and obviously no more Flappy Bird. But how have you changed that software over the last 12 years? Yeah, it's been an interesting journey. We've had to keep up with technology changes over the years. And our biggest technology leap started around two years ago when we kicked off a project to completely rebuild our software on a new modern platform that allows us to build things better and more quickly. Although it's been a massive undertaking, we we knew that if we could replicate and improve on our existing software, then we could also expand into providing other functionality that our users were asking for, and we've certainly achieved that. We now have a development schedule to progressively improve and enhance the Astute Wheel software and continuously develop more functionality. In the short term, we're expecting to integrate with other software providers And we're also expecting to start providing CRM capabilities and expanding in that direction. But given this podcast is in August 2024, the best way for your listeners to determine where we're up to in the future is just to visit our website and register for a webinar. Perfect. Um, And congratulations on that um, that transition. I know that would have been a massive project and uh, it must feel it must feel good to have that behind you and and the sort of changes and enhancements that come with that. Um, I, I guess I mentioned sort of twelve years in the in the game before and the changes that have happened with technology. Obviously, the financial planning industry itself has changed enormously as well in that twelve years. But how have you stayed relevant in that time? Maybe starting with uh, cybersecurity. Yeah, cybersecurity is a huge issue in our industry uh, as we keep so much sensitive information about our clients. 
one of the biggest problems is that client questionnaires, investment documents, and advice documents are still being sent as attachments in emails, which simply isn't secure. So Astute Will has built a client portal to address this issue where the client logs into their secure portal using two-factor authentication to complete various online questionnaires that their advisor has tasked them to complete for either a new client or a review client. The client can then use the portal to upload their sensitive documents for the advisor to access, but can also access any advice documents that the advisor has prepared. They can then electronically sign these advice documents and save them in the portal. There's also a secure chat facility built into the system. All the data is stored in Australian-based Amazon web servers and only accessible with two-factor authentication by the advisor, their staff, and their clients. But we've also taken things a step further, making the client portal a valuable part of the advisor's service offering, allowing the client to view all their financial information in the one place. They can track their goals, view their assets and liabilities, use the vault to upload and store copies of all their important documents in the one place, and then choose to share those with their advisor if required. We've also designed it to be a fun and personal place. The family information is presented as a family tree visual, and the clients can load photos of each family member onto the visual. In fact, we use colour and visuals throughout the portal to make it more user-friendly and we provide you know, a high-level view of most of the information, but also the ability to drill down into the detail uh, if the client wants to. I love it. Once again, very comprehensive. So thank you. And it just it feels like that's um, you know a seamless front stage and backstage for both uh, clients and advisors. And I really love how clients are able to just simply, if they want to upload their own content, not even share it with their advisor and just use it as their personal vault. I think that's really cool. And that secure chat functionality, I think that's just a great step away from communicating via email. So it's very cool. It, it feels like we're getting closer to client portals becoming the only way forward or essential for communication between practices and their clients. What about the trend towards virtual meetings, which is probably more commonplace now four years or so after COVID? Yeah, it's interesting. I've spoken to some advisors that have chosen to only conduct virtual meetings with their clients, uh, and almost every advisor now has to do some virtual meetings with clients. The challenge with virtual meetings is that if you're used to conducting meetings with paper-based documents and explaining strategies using a whiteboard, these don't translate well into a screen share meeting. The Astute Wheel software was always designed to use on a screen in a meeting room, and so the transition to virtual meetings has been really easy for our users. The client summary screen toggles easily between an overview of the client's position and then allows you to drill down into the detailed information and into the various tools. The goals and scoping tool are visual and interactive, and our 20 modelling calculators make it really easy to explain the impact of an individual strategy or show the impact of numerous strategies across a lifetime cash flow model. We also have a fantastic comparison screen where you can show a client their current expected cash flow outcome. For example, if you keep going the way you are, you're going to run out of money at age 78 when you retire, compared to implementing a set of conservative strategies, taking them maybe to age 88, and then comparing that with a set of more aggressive strategies, taking them to perhaps 98 before they run out of money. The advisor can then discuss with the client what they want to do, and they may be happy to work an extra year and salary sacrifice $10,000 a year until they retire, but they only want to downsize their home by 200000 not 300000 So the advisor can then model that in front of the client, and if they're happy to run out of money at age 90, then that's what the SOA will reflect. The process itself is far more engaging for the client, whether it's a face-to-face meeting or a virtual meeting, when they can see the impact of changes immediately, and it saves the advisor time by not having multiple meetings to get to the same result. For a retiree in a, a review environment, you can easily explore the impact of buying a new car or going on a holiday and compare various price points to work out what's the impact on the client's retirement funds. 
perhaps they can spend 20000 on a holiday to Europe and 40000 on a new car if their funds will still last to age 90. But if they spend more on each purchase and their funds may run out at age 85, then perhaps they don't want to do that. I love it. Thank you. And I think there's just so much power in being able to model changes to a, a projection or a scenario live in front of the client and, you know, not spending time going back and forth after the meeting trying to refine that model and that surprise and delight factor is, is really important. And if you're, there's also a lot of power in being able to share the actual screen of the software you use and not have to export that to something else and make it look pretty for a client. It really drives efficiency. If you're an advisor, you just want it to be client friendly and also intuitive to know where you need to go. So that's really cool. And I guess one of the other big changes, um, or one of the big changes as a result of the Royal Commission has been, I guess, the need to provide better reviews and the associated documentation that goes along with that, which in turn practices are spending more and more time preparing for reviews. How does Astute Will address that problem? Yeah, many advisors that I speak to do not have an efficient review process. It takes them many hours to develop a review document, and much of the client review meeting is just spent updating a paper-based fact find and then trying to react to any changes in the client's circumstances or their goals. As a result, most advisors can only provide ongoing advice to around 100 clients, so all their time is being spent on conducting reviews, and they don't have the time to onboard new clients. And this problem gets compounded if an advisor is not charging enough for their reviews uh, because they don't feel they're adding enough value to increase their fees. So this is a challenge that the Astute Wheel software provides a solution for. Initially, the client is tasked to update their fact-find information through the client portal. They also update their goals and they complete a questionnaire on what things may have changed in their life. The advisor can then review all the information prior to the meeting and can quickly determine if there's any material changes that would require an SOA or an ROA with changes or if it's simply an ROA with no changes that's required. The advisor can then push the updated information through uh, to the client database and produce a 12 to 15 page review document, uh, which is just auto generated uh, and provides the, uh, the client with information about their goals, their financial position, their cash flow, their financial health, their risk profiles, their life insurance, and an updated lifetime cash flow model that includes all the updated information. Now, because the advisor has all the updated client information before the meeting, they're not wasting their time in the meeting updating their fact find or the client's fact find, and they've already worked out how they can respond to a material change. So if the client has an extra $1,000 a month in savings due to a pay rise, how best to use this money, you've already worked it out. You've already de- determined what's going to be best for this client and what their options are. The review document and the Astute Wheel software tools can then be used to provide a valuable review meeting for the client, introducing new areas of advice if required, identifying strategies to improve a client's position, and confirm if the client's on track to achieve their retirement funding strategy using the cash flow modeling calculator. The review document itself can be set up as a customized template for your practice with your own text and what you decide you want to include or exclude from the generic template. You can then use it for the review meeting discussion or to generate a no-change ROA if that's what's required. By automating the process and using technology to do the heavy lifting, the time it takes to complete a review can be really significantly reduced, especially if all that's required is a no-change ROA, which for many advisors is the majority of their client review meetings. What advisors find is that they're taking less time and providing a more valuable review to their clients, uh, which provides spare capacity to either increase the service offering to an existing client and increase their fees, or take on more new clients. Either way, they can uh, increase the revenue to the business. I love it. I think that yeah, being able to be or use the tech to be proactive rather than reactive is an absolute game changer and to not spend the first half of a meeting updating a fact find or learning about things that have changed 
um, you know, throughout that review cycle and then being, you know, having to react after the meeting, it just becomes so much more efficient and it's so powerful. And as you mentioned before, it means you can go straight into that modeling and start to, to model out scenarios. You can go into the meeting with that model and then make those changes live. It's just really, really powerful. So, that is awesome. I guess another challenge, and obviously we've got more time in the review meeting now, but another challenge for financial planners now is that there's far fewer advisors that are providing life insurance or personal insurance advice to their clients. As we all know, it's now taking a lot more work and that uh, sort of corresponding reward has been reduced. Um, what can you sort of say there, Hans? Yeah, this is a real concern for our industry um, and I think both government and, and our industry is starting to realise because more and more Australians are, are becoming uh, underinsured. But also it leaves advisors open to problems. If they scope out uh, the insurance uh, from their advice and a client subsequently has a claimable event, then that's going to be a problem for, you know, for the advisor. Uh, this, the astute wheel solution is that we've created an insurance needs analysis tool that guides both the advisor and the client through a comprehensive process to determine what levels of insurance that the client needs based on a series of questions. The tool creates a cash flow analysis of the client's requirements across the four types of life insurance, death, TPD, income protection and trauma and determines a dollar amount for each. This then creates the basis for the life insurance advice, and it can be defended in court if you had to. Now, if the client then decides to reduce the levels of cover or exclude certain types of cover, they're doing this from an informed position as they understand what they'll be giving up. Perhaps the children won't be going to private schools and mum will have to work full time if you reduce the death cover for dad but they will know that that's the impact. One of the exciting benefits of the tool is that as the client details are updated each year, these changes will flow through from the client database into the tool uh, and a comprehensive review of the client's insurance needs can be completed in a few minutes rather than having to go through the process again from the start. In this way, the advisor can accept their obligation to provide clients with insurance reviews if requested, knowing that it won't commit them to hours of work each time a client says, hell yeah, I'd like an insurance review this year. Alternatively, an advisor can make this part of their service offering to complete a full review of their client's insurance needs every three years or so, knowing it won't be a big time commitment, but being seen as quite valuable for the client. I love that. And yeah, Hans, you've just given me an idea for a T-shirt with the hell yeah, I'd like an insurance review this year, please. So that's fantastic. And I love the – it's just so it's so important, as you mentioned, that insurance is scoped correctly. And I guess one example of that is giving clients the opportunity to actually scope it in through, as you mentioned, the financial health check. Like if they're self-determining that that's a need, it's pretty clear, but obviously there's a need to make those reasonable inquiries to make sure it's not overlooked and left unaddressed, even if the client doesn't think it needs to be addressed. So I guess finally, the entire industry or profession is looking forward to that outcome of, of QAR or the quality of advice review changes, hopefully coming in 2025. How's Astute Wheel positioned for those uh, potential changes? Yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting question. And I get this feedback from quite a lot of advisors uh, that the Astute Wheel software is going to be very well positioned for providing specifically scoped advice because we really, you know, we split up the advice into those six areas. Um, and also, if the requirements for producing an SOA uh, or an ROA are reduced and sort of redesigned, then uh, we're in a great position to take advantage of that. We're also really well positioned for video SOAs due to the visual and interactive nature of our tools. And in fact, we already have some practices that are providing video SOAs to their clients using our tools. I love that. That's um, that's great insight. And I guess is there is there anything else you wanted to share with us, Hans? Is is there anything we've missed? No, not really. Apart from I just probably would reiterate that we <clears throat> we've now got to a point where because of the new platform that we're on, uh, the new technology. We're, we're really rapidly developing the software 
Um, and d- depending on when a listener is listening to this, uh, it might be a month, three months, six months from now, just come to our website. Uh, you know, we, we run demos, uh, live demos every week. Uh, you can register for a demo. Um, you can see where we're up to. And, uh, you know, we might be doing things that we can help you with. Perfect. Look forward to it. Hans, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Patrick.